Welcome to the Philadelphia Money Show. I'm John Dobas from Forbes. I'm a dividend man, and I'm sitting next to a guy who's been a dividend man for quite some time, Kelly Wright. He's the editor of Investment Quality Trends out of the San Diego area of California. Actually, we moved slightly north now to. Are you really? We're we're back in the OC, uh, South Orange County, San Juan oh, nice. Capistrano. Oh, Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did not even know that about the man. I thought you were. I mean, so uh, congratulations. So uh, who's interviewing who? Oh yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, I knew that. We're so, brothers from different mothers, if you guys We've been confused this out. before. Yes. Uh, so Kelly does a newsletter, a little newsletter that's been going on for about 53 years, right? 1966. Geraldine Weiss, yes. founder, yes. wrote the uh, first edition of Dividends Don't Lie, or was that right. you? No, Geraldine, Geraldine wrote Dividends Don't Lie, and I did Dividends Still Don't Lie in um, 2010. So there's a lot of information out there on the web. You can do earnings growth, uh, what's up, what's down, what's in favor, what's out of favor as far as sectors and stocks go. Listen to Kelly tell you something, though. About, I love that the stocks will have, stocks that pay a dividend and that have paid a dividend for a long time have these repetitive patterns. When the yield gets above a certain point, the stock is a little, is time to buy it. And when the yield gets down way low, that's a sign that the stock price has gone up so high out in relation to other factors. That, yeah. but, but, but talk about that. It's very simplistic, but very uh, at the core. It's, it is simplistic. That's a great term. It's that um, when a yield is high enough, it attracts buying because it's a, it's a good return on investment. And then as buying comes in, the price goes up, the yield goes down. It gets to a point where the yield is no longer attractive. And when the yield is no longer attractive, buying stops. And when buying stops, then inertia sets in. And, and the people that bought early, they rush into sell so that they can lock down their profits. And then it starts, you know, kind of an avalanche. And pretty soon, you know, your price is going down, down, down. But the company keeps raising their dividends. And once again, it gets back to where its yield is high enough where people go, God, that's a great what a, what a, That's cheap, man. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. You know? It's so all, all the institutions, it's interesting. Every time we have a sell-off of any kind, uh, you know, like when the market has one of those days where it just vomits. You know? <laughs> we have had those, yeah. <laughs> okay. And down, then, down 800. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, you look across the board of what's getting bought. Okay, it's all really high quality blue chip dividend paying stocks because all these institutions have these computer programs that, hey, when Procter and Gamble gets to this or Johnson and Johnson gets to this or Coke or you know, we can name off a hundred. You can see them hit, right? You can see them hit, you know, because everybody knows God, that's a great value for that stock. So that's that's basically what we're looking to do. So uh, you monitor industry groups and sectors and stuff like that and see, I'm sure looking at the data, you know where the concentration of overvalue and undervalued, um, you know, overall, how is the market relative to history, overvalue, undervalue, and what stands out as far as a laggard and a leader? Well, and I think the, the yield on the Dow is about 225, 230, something like that. Um, 2% would be overvalued. So it's got some room to run. Um, and uh, as far as uh, leaders and laggards, it's interesting. I mean, what's it's, cheap and what's expensive, yeah. basically. Yeah. So the, look, look at the financials. They've been laggards for a while, right? I could name you a bunch of banks. Uh, Comerica, BB&T, uh, Bank of Montreal. Uh, BMO, yeah, nice one. Yep. Yeah, I love Canadian banks. And, and then you got the one over there, Nova Scotia, BNS. Yeah, Bank, Bank of Nova, Nova Scotia, Scotia. Uh, Royal Bank of Canada. Those all offer great value. RY or no yeah, R? Yeah, RY. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those all offer great value. But then you look at insurance companies, which are also financials. They're all at their low yield. You know, so so it means they're extended to the high, to the price side. Yeah, right? their price is yeah, high. Their yeah. yield is low. So you've got a bifurcation there. Uh, Cummins, something you and I talk, both talked about. CMI. Diesel That's engine a, maker. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Which seems to fly in the face if everyone's worried about recession. Why would a company like Cummins be doing well? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, right, right. Mr. Market's relatively smart, you know. Right. 
Uh, let me see what else, what else, what else. Things you buy diesel. Come, uh, you've been talking about AT&T for a long time, and they actually, they were like a, the kid who went to rehab three times, but now he's a <laughs> now he's a CPA or something, you know? He's good. He's, he worked out. Uh, he they're, got they're, a meal. <laughs> he did. Well, I, so, I mean, no one knows how it's going to really turn out in the long run with this Warner Media, uh, you know, Time Warner takeover deal, but it gives them something besides the phones to well, hang look, their the head on. the wireless business is a no-brainer. It's, 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 for Come now on. it is, right, but you get these people nipping at your heels, like Cricket and uh, uh, Boost Mobile and all those people that give you phones for cheap, True. And, uh, True. Sprint. So, uh, but anyway, people okay. were thinking that the stock's doing well. It was 30 bucks for a long time. Oh, yeah. Now it's cracked 37. Well, there's an active investor there. There is, and, right. And uh, I think he would like to see the current CEO go off to, you know, Green Acres. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, okay. he wants him to dump uh, the satellite business. It wouldn't be a bad idea necessarily to lose some stuff that's not making Well, that's up. why they bought the media stuff from Time Warner, though. Yeah, the history of AT&T, though, is buying STUFF for a lot of money <laughs> and then to say, well, it's like they're making a series of Jacoby Ellsbury trades. Yeah. Pickups by the, if you're not familiar, the Yankees, how many years was it? Like 10 or 7 for like a couple hundred million dollars, and the dude hasn't suited up in two years. Okay. Well, no, that's true. ATT's uh, been really lousy at anything that doesn't have to do with the core, the core phone, phone business. deal. Right, right, right. So maybe, I don't know, but right now, the, that yield, though, I know of 6% or something. Uh, it's like five, six, six five, and a half a percent, yeah. I mean, that's got to be on the high side of history, right? It is, yeah. it is, it is. So it depends. I mean, if you're an income investor, that, that's a great play. Uh, the tobacco companies. Oh, oh M.O. M.O. And, and P.M. Uh, sure. Philip Morris. Um, they, they're still going, though? They're still with, going, with, yeah. With, with SIGs always getting taxed and people dying and whatnot. But the You know what? Human nature hasn't changed a hell of a lot since the Garden of Eden. People like nicotine. <laughs> What's the greatest delivery system on the world? A, 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 you know, a, uh, they got that Jewel thing shut down pretty quick, didn't they? Yeah, well, they'll, they'll figure out how to. But, but you know what? The Jewel CEO got booted, and who came in? A dude from uh, from uh, MO. Oh, look, people are not going to stop smoking. They're not going to stop drinking. And now the cannabis is out of the. Come oh. on, you know. In the weeds with Kelly Wright. <laughs> Actually, that's a good. That'd be a good article, wouldn't it? In the weed. Talk about tobacco and weed and that and would be. That would be. That's good. We gotta get busy. I'm John. He's Kelly. Thanks for tuning in.